Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet, and I have to say, yarn has thrown up all over my craft room, my yarn room. Look at this, it's it's like ridiculously crazy. So yesterday, I started um, trying to clean out some of my bins. So this one, as you can see, is empty-ish. <laughs> this one over here, I... Um, just keep the yarn, uh, you know, the blanket in. Um, so I have a yarn haul. See the bags back there and right there from Hobby Lobby. And so today is yarn haul. Let's let's check out what's in the yarn haul so that I can redo something with this room. It's like nuts, right? How fun. Yeah, you get to play in the yarn room. Um, so hold on and we'll be right back with yarn haul stuff. So these are the three bags of yarn I got from Hobby Lobby's sale. It's the first time I've shopped at Hobby Lobby because there really isn't one in my county. But I found one in another county. Actually, I found two. And they're probably, I don't know, maybe only a half an hour away. So that's not so bad. Maybe 45 minutes. So I bought 107 skeins of yarn not all of it I mean the yarn that I see other people buying I'm like oh mine didn't have that mine didn't have that or the store I was at um, but the other one well they're marking theirs down sometime tonight she said and I'm really at a debate oh. well I think my recording got shut off when somebody texted me so I believe I was at um, I, I you saw my yarn room. I don't have any more space. So I'm in a really big quandary. Do I go more yarn shopping? Like, I want, there's yarns I want to buy, and I know they're going to be on clearance. I want that yarn Chloe. My first oldest granddaughter is Chloe. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to see what I do. Okay, hold on. I'm going to arrange this so I can show it to you. Wow, look at how good I got the lighting in here. So this is the other side of my dining room. Um, and I've been working really hard on getting the lighting quite right. Now my husband's phone is ringing. Hold on. Oh, oops, I guess I should have sat down first. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so, I'm going to have to do this in segments. There's, I, uh, I think I went a little bit crazy. So, let's start with... On all the yarns, I try, I, you know, when I first started purchasing yarn on my own a couple of years ago, um, maybe, maybe two, two years ago, I would ask, I went on YouTube and I asked people, or no, actually it was a Facebook page, and I said, you know, how much yarn do you buy? How do you know, like, if you're just buying it because it's at a good price? And everyone said, as much as you can afford. Um, well, sometimes I can afford a lot. And sometimes I can't afford so much, but as I've crocheted more, I'm learning that like you're going to need like six, at least yards, if 600 yards, if you want to make like a shawl that's going to fit my body. So I always try to buy in increments of like 600 or better when I can. Um, and I don't know if that's really a good way to go because I'm still in the phase that I buy a lot faster than I crochet, which is why I have all this yarn. Um, because I love buying and I love crocheting. I just can't do them in equal pieces. So that being said, um, I was really looking to get yarn in quantities of like 600, um, yards. And that's when I knew when to stop for that particular one. But if I left, the, I wasn't going to leave one skein because what do you do with one skein? So, if there was going to be one skein left, I bought it. Um, and some yarns that I just really liked, I sometimes bought if there was less than one, less than 600 yards, but I thought I could work it in with something else. So, that's that was my reasoning. I'm going to have a bin here because I'm going to toss this stuff. So, I have this Fair Isles, and it was kind of fun because I've never purchased from um, Hobby Lobby before, so... All of this is like new to me and um, makes it that much more fun. So this is a three weight 
It is um, 254 yards, and it's 80% acrylic and 20% alpaca, which I don't have very much alpaca, so it's kind of, I like it. Um, and this is color raspberry cream. So I believe I got, and I got them, they were $5.49 on sale for $1.37. So I got four because, uh, like I said, I wasn't going to leave one. I forgot how many yards were there, 250, 254, so I got a thousand yards, I could maybe, I don't know, it's a three weight though, so that always throws me off, because three weight, like I used three skeins, like 1500 yards to make my wrap, um, so, but that, and that was a three weight, so, I don't know if that's big enough, I don't know, still learning that kind of stuff. Um, so this one is also Fair Isles, and I only have two skeins, and one was kind of yucky, but I really liked the color, but it's still 500 yards, um, and this color is, uh, Sunset Bluff. I really love the color. I love coral, and that seemed to be one of my favorite colors. So then I bought these lots of dots. Ooh, look at how pretty those are. They're just like baby looking. I just totally love them. Well, it's called Baby Bee. Lots of dots. Um, I think it's all acrylic. This color is teal, yellow, gray, 08, 114 yards. Um, size 5, bulky. So I have five of, or four, because that was what they had left of this color. Sorry, I bought them out of this color. Um, but it's still uh, just about 500 yards at 100 and, well, isn't that weird? This one says it's 110 yards, but this one over here is 114, same yard. Hmm, weird, isn't that? Oh, no, I'm sounding like Yoda. Anyway, these were 549 for the 137 price. So I got that, and then I got four in this color. Um, there it is. Uh, pink multi. So I got four in this color. Uh, then I got, they had just one of these, but it, I thought it was so pretty. It's alpaca. Um, it is 102 yards of a five bulky. The color is called City Beat. Um, and it's Andy's alpaca. Where is it telling me how much is what of what? Hold on, let's see. It's going to tell me somewhere, right? Oh, 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca. It's really soft. And I thought maybe I could make a little cowl for winter out of just the one. I'm hoping because it's the only one I have like it. And I just thought it was soft. And it was the only one there. So I'm like, I cannot not buy it. Um, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> so that was um, five forty nine for a dollar thirty seven. Then I have five of these lovelies. Um, this is the Yarnby Juliet Golden Roll. Was four bucks for for a buck. Uh, Eighty seven yards, six weight, bulky, acrylic, eighty uh, percent acrylic, twenty percent nylon. And I have five of this color. <clears throat> so just under 500 yards. And in the same yarn, I got six of this color, which is called Earthenware. So I thought that was very nice. Again, that was um, a bucket skein. I have a big tub down here. I'm dumping all of this in. So, why can't we do the yarn room? Then I have this one. It was five, uh, oh, four forty nine for a dollar twelve. Soft Secret in teal. It's a very dark teal. It looks kind of greenish to me. I, if the color wasn't called teal, I would have called it. Um, in the store, I thought it was green. In my house, it still looks really kind of green. Um, but I was thinking like a Christmas green and it's really soft. Uh, it's 100% acrylic, 300 yards in the skein. Um, it's a number four. It really does kind of remind you of the look of, I got two of it. It was the only two they had and it was the only color they had marked down in this particular yarn. Um, the yarn <clears throat> is the soft secret. 
It really does kind of remind you of um, Simply Soft. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this yarn. I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess 13 skeins of this in a few different colors. This is the Baby Hushabai Salad. This color is called Mint Charm. Um, it is a 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, 208 yards in a skein. Uh, it's four millimeter. Um, I mean, a, a medium four. And I bought this in the mint, the blue. I have one, which is really a messy ball here, in this uh, color blue pink. And then I have the pastel pink, which is called Pinkaboo. Like I said, not all of these were in the greatest shape, but I bought them. Uh, and then I have just white, which is called Angel. Um, and I have the leap, I only have three skeins of the white, which I probably will need more, but, and I only have one skein of this one, which is really wanting me to go to the other store and see if I can get more of some of these yarns because I'm thinking, uh, I bought these, um, Croch, uh, Creative Grandma just came out with that really pretty flower blanket with the white background and then the flowers, and I just thought this was such a, would be so pretty to do that with. And these were a dollar twenty four, um, instead of five bucks. So um, that's wanting me to have to go out to that other store. But tonight is oh tomorrow is a work day, and I have to go to bed around eight o'clock. And she said they weren't marking the yarn down until tonight. And if I come home with more yarn, I might get kicked out of the house. And he's gonna be like, "There's no more room for you and your yarn." Um, so then I got this Flicka, which is also a cotton yarn. Um, Flicka is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Uh, let's see, it is a 196 yards, 100 grams, 179 meters. This is a number three. Uh, and this color, <laughs> this is a lion brand. I think this is comfy cotton. I'm I'm sorry. It just looks like comfy cotton. Um, the color number is 712, but I'm not seeing a color name. Uh, so I have four of these, and these were uh, you can see a dollar twenty four instead of five bucks. So hold on, just one second. Wait, this is gonna take a lot of editing. I've not done a lot of editing. Usually I just record right on the YouTube app thing and then I'm done. Um, so this is going to be kind of funny. We'll see what happens. So anyway, back to the Flicka. So I got the Flicka in this 712 number. And while I was paused, and you probably hopefully won't even really know that I paused, but I paused. And I took a phone call. And um, I ran into my yarn room and I got the Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. Um, in this Chia Latte color. I got this at Walmart, and I think it's $5.88. Uh, no, wait, actually, I got it on Amazon, and it was $5.88, and I had free shipping, because, uh, uh, you know, Amazon Prime. So, anyway, this is, I just want to tell you, this is called Chia Latte, uh, and the color number is 712. So, let me tell you, this is the same yarn. So just FYI, um, at Hobby Lobby, the regular price is $4.99 for 196 yards, 179 meters, and 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. This is the, um, you know, Walmart one um, that I actually got online. It's 7 ounces. It's 288 grams, 392 yards. 358 meters so we've got double the yards 4.99 at Hobby Lobby 5.88 double the yards 
uh, the same color. 712 Lion Brand. It is the same thing. Um, so that should tell you, maybe that's why they're clearing these out, because now that Walmart's selling the same thing, <clears throat> excuse me, for um, half the price, actually, because you need two of these at 196 yards to be, uh, what did I say the shirts was? 392. So 196, let's say, almost... Yeah, we're, you're within like two yards. 196 times two would be usually 200, yeah, 100, 392 yards. So, $10, regular price, 588 I'm not always the Walmart fan, but I am a fan of cheaper yarns. So anyway, I have four of these that actually match my other comfy cotton. Ooh, I have something big in the works now. Uh, and then I got four of them in the... A grape jelly and they had three so I got three and this uh, blue is um, blue is waiting pool yummy yummy so the good news is if you run short on a color you can't get it at Hobby Lobby or your you know your yarn haul from Hobby Lobby runs you out and you need more you can always go to Walmart or walmart.com and get more so yay. Um, then I have this Sweet Delight Chunky. Isn't that cute? Uh, I just, it's variegated and it's gray. Uh, gray is not my favorite color, but I love gray yarn. I don't understand that about myself, but it's true. Uh, this is a, use a six, a five bulky, 109 okay. yards, 100 grams, 100 meters, uh, $4.99 regular price, $1.24 sale price, Sweet Delight Chunky Multi Gray is the color of that. Um, I got five of those. They only had, and they're not all real pretty sugar wheels, but they only had three total sugar wheels. And I was there, I'm telling you, they marked this down on Friday night, and I was there on Saturday afternoon. And the color wheel, or the sugar wheel, what is this called? These lollies. What are these things called? Lux lollies. This is strudel date is the color. Uh, regular $8 on sale for two. Um, strudel date, I think, is the color. And they have, everything is all not being able to tell me. I've got, oh, I think they have this as a four. Um, I have to peel off a label here. Yeah, it's a four. They're 502 yards. Um, 459 meters. <clears throat> it's written very small. Uh, so anyway, I ha I bought the last three. So they're not the greatest uh, in shape. But I never bought these before. Oh, I guess I've never shopped there before, so... That's that. Uh, then I got these lovelies. Um, this reminds me of Cruella de Vil. This is uh, Yarn Bee Stripe It. And this is the only color that I liked. And it is a black and white, obviously called black and white. Very creative there. Five inch stripes. It says, I don't know how that works. I don't understand, but... Uh, it is a four weight, uh, 196 yards, uh, 100 grams, 180 meters, uh, 499, 4125, 4124. So I have five of those. My daughter will love something made in those because black and white and maroon are her favorite colors. Then I got this. Now, I would have never, ever in 100 years bought this yarn at $20 a skein. Uh, it is, I'm going to just mark down to $4.99. The color is turquoise. I think I want to make a rug out of it. It is Yarn Bee Turban Turquoise. Uh, it's 500 grams, 17.6 ounces, 270 yards, 247 meters. It is a six bulky weight. Uh, and as I said, the color is turquoise, as you can see. I got two of those. 
because I splurged. And I think that I'm going to really try to make a, a, I don't know what else to make out of it. So if you have suggestions, ideas, totally love those. Uh, but I'm taking a rug for my bathroom. So now I have to pause you again so I can get out the other yarn because I have one more bag to go. So much fun though. Hold on. Oh goodness, now my hair is all square. Okay, so um, just three more kinds to go. So we got this lovely, very soft, um, and I couldn't resist these last three yarns because they were so extremely soft. This is Forever. I'm going to grab one. One for you. This is Krista at the winery, or the yarnery. One for me, one for you. This is for uh, Forever Style. The color is ivory. They had white, but somebody else got to it right as I was grabbing other colors. So, um, it is so soft. Uh, it is a number four, 219 yards, 200 meters, um, and the color is called ivory on this one. I, oh my God, it is so soft. I just want to wrap up in it. So we have four of the ivory. Up in the bin. Three of the other colors. This one is gray. This one is taupe. This one is blush. Not necessarily in the nicest shape, all of them, but you can't get away from the softness. This color is teal. Mint, I think. Oh, misty green should be called mint. Could be called mint, I should say, because it is a very minty color. And finally, rose. Now, I have to say that Secret Yarnery Forever Never Ending Flower Shaw thing that I have already yarned for. Um, I'm totally loving that with these colors for maybe a fall show. Mm, they're so, uh, it, this should be a teddy bear, is what they should be. So maybe baby lovies. Oh God, I don't know. Just anything that you could, I just want to sleep with them. And that's not weird. That's just because they're cuddled. And then we have another really, um, soft. This is called Baby Lulu. Now it has a lot of fur. You can see that. Lots of halo on there. I don't know. I mean it's a baby yarn. It's a number three weight. Um, 100 grams, 259 yards, 237 meters. Uh, and this color is sure, aqua. Uh, and I have three of, or two, no three. I do have three of the aqua. This one is called, sure, where you will find it, soft lilac, which I have three of them. And this one is minty, and I have three of them. Uh, and, and no, like whites or creams, but uh, just these three, or four, three, three colors. And I don't, I mean, I think that would be a really pretty baby blanket for, you know, either sex child could wear that, I would think. Um, but I don't know that I would give that to a baby because all that fuzzy would get up in their nose and I don't know, but it would be a really awesome scarf. Or scarf and gloves and hat. I think any of my granddaughters would love that. And, oh my goodness, overflowing and falling on the floor. And last but not least, let me grab these lovelies. Um, these, let's go with the white. Actually, it's called cream. These are 
cloud nine is what these are. Um, Oh, I forgot to tell you the regular prices on these. These were five ninety nine uh, on for one forty nine, and the forever forever style was four ninety nine for four for one forty nine, um, and these were the four forty nine for one twelve. Uh, these are this one is called cream. It is. 251 yards, 230 meters, number three weight, um, very soft and fuzzy. So I have three of the cream, three in what's called mushroom, and three in garnet. And I really liked them together. Um, again, I think scarves, hats, gloves. Mm. I won't make gloves again. I did that one time. That was terrible. <clears throat> Not because of the pattern, but because I just couldn't seem to follow even the tutorial online. So, that is my yarn haul from Hobby Lobby. Uh, first time ever. So much fun. Now the work begins because I have to redo the crafter. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my yarn haul. Now the, now the debate is, do I go to another Hobby Lobby? Ooh, they have that yarn called Chloe. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. Um, and it comes in that little ball thing. I really love the yarn and my oldest granddaughter is Chloe and I'm like, I want Chloe. They had some really pretty colors that I've seen people getting that were being, you know, marked down really good and I really want to go and get Chloe. I don't know. I have to fight myself up for it. Let's see who wins. Have a great day. Bye. So let's see, are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Okay, so silly me, again, I forget to ask you to subscribe. I'm up to, before starting this, um, like 476 subscribers. 500 is another giveaway. I got lots of new yarn. Yay! Please subscribe, share, like, all that fun stuff. I appreciate it a whole ton. Have a great day. Bye.